known to reach decibel levels comparable to that of a jet engine. Century Link Field is the location for this NFC matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the Seattle Seahawks. Phil, we've got two defensive ends who can get to the quarterback and ruin an entire team's game plan. That might be what we'll see here today. Well, what you do as an offensive coach in situations like this, you plan all week long for one thing, to make sure that defensive end cannot ruin your football game. So you double-team him, you chip him with the running back, you hit him with the tight end, make sure he's not the difference in the outcome. Taking it right up the middle, and he's going to be tackled right around the 31-yard line. in the backfield. Gore is handed the football. That's a gain of eight. That's a nice, powerful statement as they establish the run at the beginning of this game. Well, Jim, I, you're, you're right. I'm going to give the offense a little credit here, but, you know, somewhere, I don't know, maybe the defense is going to have to put some weights in their pockets. you got to hang in there and make the tackle. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Back to the ground now on first down. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. the pistol second and 12 gets it again here they've got him behind the line of scrimmage we're early in this one but already a crucial third and long play coming up well uh, these are tough situations what are you going to do on the offensive side there's only so much you can do if i was the defense i would look for a screen Manningham's lined up in the slot. Now it's a third and 13. Always aware of the chains. He's got the catch, and he's got the first. He's got the touchdown. Well, when your offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead, it's got to give a big lift to the defense. they got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. Percy Harvin will be returning this one. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The Seahawks will go with the pistol on this play. The wide receiver in motion. First and ten. The quarterback will hand it off. They run right. And he's able to get out to the 34-yard line. Good job by the running back that time. Finding the open hole and picking up those extra yards. Lined up in the pistol formation. First and ten. Back to the ground. He'll go left. you got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. The Seahawks come out in the pistol. Second and seven. The handoff. Running behind the tackle. They've got him down there. Get the ball 
the Seahawks line up in the pistol offense. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Third down and four. Another carry here. Picks up four. Excellent job of just picking up the first down. This offense is hot. Another first down, and they are moving down the field. Setting up in the pistol on this play. First and ten, right back to him one more time. Searching for space to the right. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. What a job by the offensive line that time. This running back hit the hole at full speed, and the defense had very little time to react. And that's how he got in the secondary, made a couple guys miss, and gets down there and gets a long run. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. First and 10. They feed it to him again. Reed makes the tackle. Play number six coming up on this drive. Second and five, staying on the ground. Now slashing to the right side, looking for room. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. Five, looking across the middle, Russell Wilson out to Sidney Rice. It takes really good corners to play a defense where you challenge the wide receivers and just play them man-to-man -man coverage. I don't think this defense has that kind of quality corner. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Running back, gets it on the handoff, goes to the left, gains 13. Good job that time by the running back. I'm sure he's a little winded that that play. He showed that speed getting out there and picking up those extra yards. First down here after the run. Harvin's got it on the handoff. Running to the right. James it across the goal line for the touchdown. I'd say this run by the offense is just it's arrogance. They just say, you can't stop us. And they lined up and just shoved it down the defense's throat. Nice run there on first and goal for the touchdown. Not a whole lot of scoring here as we welcome you back to the action. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. Stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The 49ers lined up in the pistol. Frank Gore gets it here. In this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time they stopped that run just for a short game. Colin Kaepernick under center. Second down and eight. And the give to Frank Gore. It's Earl Thomas who makes the tackle. That's a nice job blocking by the offensive line and a really good job by the running back. Seeing the proper hole, gets up in there and picks up big yards.
the 49ers will approach this play from out of the pistol. First and ten. They hand it off to him again. A tackle behind the line. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. After running it, it's second down. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Well, the quarter route. Some people call it the quarter route. They call it a flag, run to the flag of the end zone, or a seven route. Odd numbers break out. That time we see a nice route by the wide receiver and a good throw by the quarterback. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. He's brought to a halt. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stopped him for a short game. Offense lines up here. Second and eight. Back to the ground. He's in the clear. Impressive piece of running by Gore. You know, when the linebackers, when they see that the offensive formation is shifted to one side, well, as a linebacker, you got to play to that strong side and try to get up there and stop the run. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. And that picks up three. I think you got to be a little more creative in the red zone than this. When you just line up and run the football like that, you're not going to get a lot of yards. And that time, they just got a short game. Lined up as the single back. They'll run with it again. Gain of eight. This is turning into quite a drive, Phil. Uh, nice job, Jim, by the offensive coordinator. Just mixing the plays up and keeping the defense off balance. Two-minute warning. This will be the eighth play of this drive. No margin for error from just outside the goal line. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now. us to second down. Miller's going to, he is in for the touchdown. The fullback in most offenses in the NFL very seldom gets to carry the football, but down near the goal line, they serve a good purpose. Quick hitting plays by a big, powerful guy gets it done. They'll get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. And they will not convert here on the two-point conversion. Good stand by the defense. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. They're setting up the return. And he's 
met head on right there at the 20. The Seahawks in the pistol. They motion the receiver around to the other side. Running to the left side. He's brought down at the 25-yard line. What a job that time by the offensive line. That hole was so big, he could have drove a car through it. The running back hit it full speed, and that allowed him to get down the field and get that long run. First and 10. Staying with the running game on first down. And he is tackled at the 14. Well, the long run that time, and there's a lot of reasons why they got that long run. But the, the biggest one, the good blocking up front, but what patience for the running back. He did not panic because it took a while for that running lane to develop. When it did, he saw it, he hit it. No doubt about it, touchdown. Good job on that touchdown. That puts him ahead, and it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. The Seahawks now lined up for the extra point. And it's a fake. So they give up the touchdown, but they do not allow the two-point play. Yeah, good job that time by the defense. So quick and so ready for that play. They reacted very fast. That's why they stopped it. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. Got a chance to return this one. And the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. Offense lines up here. First and ten. The defense gets a sack. Well, you're on the offensive side, my gosh. You know they're going to blitz. So what do you do? You either throw the football really quick or you have your tight end and running backs help pick up those blitzers so the quarterback has time to throw it. Gore is in the backfield. Kaepernick's got the football after the play fake. And he's intercepted. Well, terrible job by the quarterback. Nobody's open. Tries to force the pass. And look, what's it turn into? An interception. Baldwin's lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten. He's looking long. And he's almost intercepted. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against his cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. One more snap, and we'll head to halftime. Wilson's got it in the gun. Looking for Percy Harvin. Touchdown, Seattle Seahawks. Nothing like having a quarterback who has a good arm who can, who can just fire that football into some tight spots, and then it helps when the receiver He's got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough catch. The point after is good. The first half is over.
and we'll be back with our first half analysis in just a moment. We're back here now in this one where the Seahawks are leading by eight. A check to the sidelines with Danielle Bellini reporting. I had a moment to speak with Patrick Willis at halftime. His team is trailing up to this point, but he thinks his defense can turn this thing around, guys. He said we just need to create opportunities for our offense, whether that's turnovers or good field position. If we do that, we can come back. That's all for now, guys. Back to you. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. The Seahawks will go with the pistol on this play as they go ground here, taking off. Able to make the tackle about two yards shy of the first. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Lined up in the pistol formation. Second down and two. Throwing now to his left. Tackles made. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. The Seahawks come out in the pistol. They send the tight end in motion. First down and 10. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. Breaks free. And they bring it down at the 38-yard line. Well, when you try to tackle this guy, his legs are the size of a refrigerator, so hard to wrap him up. That's why he picked up the big game. set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Throws the pass. To the 35. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. Baldwin's a receiver in the slot. Seven and eight. This is a screenplay all the way. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. They've got a first down now after that catch. Goes deep to Sidney Rice. Incomplete. Two tight ends on the field here. Second down and ten. Challenging the defenders to the right. Touchdown, Seahawks. What a tough throw and catch into a tight spot right here for the touchdown. But today's game, these players are so good that you have to throw it in traffic. They've got to make the catch. That time he did. The Seahawks with an extra point try on the way. So they convert it here on the two-point try. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. And they have this return completely covered. Tackling him inside the 15. First down, offense readying for the snap. Four, and he'll go to the left. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. The 49ers line up in the pistol offense. Frank Gore gets it here. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight tail, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. Third 
and two here after the run. And the give to Frank Gore. There's the offense picking up another first down on third down. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Gore is taking the handoff. That's a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. Second down. Another handoff, and he is tackled down at the 38-yard line. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. Looking at third down. Traction fake. Looking to the right side and throwing. Intercepted. Shakes off the hit. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled. 